What's up guys, V here for not another platinum walkthrough video. This game does not have a platinum, so no platinum walkthrough, but it is a 100% trophy walkthrough to get you those 21 beautiful bronze trophies into your trophy cabinet. In case you couldn't tell by the title screen, we are of course playing Kill It With Fire. I absolutely loved this game on Steam and was really excited for it to come to console, and here we are. If you are playing on Steam, just know that this is solely a console walkthrough. There are achievements there that I will not cover in this video, so just keep that in mind. If you are playing on PS4 and Xbox, you are good to go, you are covered. So with this game, you are basically just looking for spiders and killing spiders. That's the main gist of it. You see a creepy crawly, you kill the creepy crawly. Pretty simple. Um, along the way, there are collectibles, there's upgrades and batteries and weapons and all sorts that we need to pick up. So we'll do that as we go. There are also the arachno gauntlets that we need to complete. Um, there are nine in total, but we are gonna wait to do two of them until the very end because we just get these massively OP upgrades that just make everything stupidly easy. So <laughs> I'll go over that more when we get to that point. So for now, go ahead and hit cross to continue. And we're gonna go ahead and get this started. Um, as this loads up, I'm going to give you the biggest piece of advice I can in regards to the trophies, um, mostly the batteries and collectible trophies. It's really easy to want to just go crazy in this game and set everything on fire, blow everything up. Just, it's really fun to do that. Um, I highly recommend not doing that until you have collected all of the batteries in the area because if you blow them up, they will fly every which way, sometimes out of bounds and they'll actually get burnt and they're really kind of not easy to see when that happens. So it's highly recommended again that you just pick up all the collectibles and then go about your way destroying things. So yeah, there you go. So start up the game, and this of course is gonna be level one, which is gonna act as a little mini tutorial here. And just do as it says, as pick up the vase. There's no spider here. You can drop it with square or toss it with R2. Um, oh, super quick before we go further as well. Um, the game does not tell you, but to crouch is circle. Um, it's gonna come in really handy, especially in some of the later levels. So just keep that in mind. Um, so open up this top drawer here and we have our first little creepy crawly that we can't kill just yet. So it's gonna go under that door, go through the door and then pick up the clipboard and see if you can find where he went. No, he went in the bathroom, I think. Okay, yeah, he probably went in the bathroom. So before we do anything, go over to this little piano here in the corner and just give it one big whack. And it's gonna play some ragtime music as well as unlock that ragtime trophy. So we're gonna get that out of the way super quick. And now we just need to kill one spider. So I know there's one. Oh, there we go. All right, so there's our one spider kill. So there's that objective. Now, if you look at all these doors, you'll see that they have targets on them with numbers inside the targets. These are the number of spiders you need to kill to unlock them. So this closet required one, the bathroom requires four, and the exit requires 10. So yeah, that, that's just pretty simple. Just letting you guys know that. So open up the closet and inside we are gonna pick up our spider tracking device. And I hear a spider crawling around behind me somewhere. <laughs> so on this shelf is going to be the tracker. Go ahead and pick that up. And we have another spider over here. All right, so we killed those. And if you hit L2, you can bring up your tracker. And right now it's just a radar. Um, it doesn't really help too much like it does a little bit um at least shows you the direction everything is in but you'll eventually get upgrades to make that a whole lot better so for now just ignore that and then on your objective list you can see that three are shown and then two are missing 
one of the missing ones is not story related and it's actually a, uh, um, a hidden challenge if you will a hidden objective and it's to kill a spider by dropping a book on it and normally with the objectives you pick up a piece of paper and it adds it to the list but i have yet to be able to find this stupid piece of paper so <laughs> i'm not sure if it actually exists or if this is just a oh surprise oh there it is <laughs> perfect okay so kill a spider with a book that works out amazing so now we just need a little spider friend all right, so we got one over there. So go ahead and grab a book, a stack of books. Doesn't matter, it just needs to be some form of some book. And then hit R2 to toss it at the spider. All right, so this one takes two hits. There we go. All right, so that's objective out of the way. I still can't believe it was in that cupboard that whole time. I apparently never checked that one cupboard. All right, so now we just need to get the hairspray from the bathroom. And as you can see, it requires four kills to unlock, which we have done. So head on inside. And on the counter here is gonna be the hairspray. And this we can just set the spiders on fire with, um, but don't waste it just yet because we do need it for the get warmed up objective down there to burn 20 items. Um, but there's more hairspray in the bottom little cupboard down there. And then there's gonna be another spider <laughs> on the toilet. Oh my gosh. There we go. Alrighty. And you will eventually get a sprint ability as well. Um, right now we just don't have it. So now that we have those spiders out of the way, we can go ahead and start setting everything on fire. I highly recommend just using the bookshelf because there are a plethora of items on that. And there you go, there's all 20 right then and there. And you can also hear that there's a spider burning to death, which is perfect. <laughs> um, so when you complete all the objectives in a level, you will unlock the Arachno Gauntlet challenge. And all of those are started by interacting with a little radio here, a um, little boombox, if you will. And I'm not going to start it just yet. I'm going to go grab a couple of miscellaneous things, um, but there's one in each level. And this one's pretty easy. It's for the most part, they're pretty easy, but if you wait until the end of the game to do them, you'll have a lot more upgrades and a lot more tools to actually use to make them just insanely easier. So it's up to you if you wanna do them as we go, um, or you can wait, it doesn't really matter. So the first thing we're gonna get is your first upgrade. And on the TV stand, this left drawer over here, uh, as you can see, it requires two spider kills to open, which we have more than enough for. So open it up and inside is gonna be a green present, which is gonna be the upgrade. So all of your personal upgrades are gonna appear in a green box and all of the tracker upgrades are gonna appear as sort of like a motherboard type thing. And then if you go over to the left wall, there's gonna be this chest of drawers here. And the top one has four little check marks on it. This requires you to complete four objectives to unlock. So since we have all five done, that's obviously more than four. So we can go ahead and go inside. And in the drawer is gonna be the revolver, which is the second piece of equipment that we pick up in this level. And this is also what we need for the arachno gauntlet. So. Once you have that, that's basically everything you can pick up in this level. Head on back over into the bathroom. And then for this arachno gauntlet, you need to kill five spiders without reloading. So your gun has six bullets, so you can miss once, but if you miss twice, you gotta start over. So hit square when you're ready to start it. And you have about a minute or so to do this and it's not gonna be too difficult, so. 
Again, just five spider kills without reloading. <laughs> That's what you don't want to do. Okay. So I'm going to start that over because I definitely missed two. Are they all scared? But yeah, so just kill five without reloading and then you'll complete it. And that'll basically finish up this first level. So we can go ahead and exit out of the door, which again, we only needed 10 kills for, and we needed, or we have 17. Um, you can see up in the top left-hand corner how many kills you have. It's just right next to that little target symbol. Um, so yeah, open up the door and this little thing will appear each time, whether you've completed a level in full or not. It's just basically telling you that if you completed anything, it will stay complete forever. If you didn't complete anything, you'll have to start over the progress towards that objective collectible sorts. Yeah. So let's move on to level two which is gonna be the Close Encounters level. And this is where we're gonna pick up our first tracker upgrade as well as our first batteries. And then of course the two pieces of equipment and all sorts of goody goodies. So uh, we did pick up an upgrade in this one. And since we don't have anything to really spend our points on, we're just gonna go ahead and spend it here because why not? Um, if that, Sorry, when you start to fill out your pages, you can refund the points. It doesn't cost you anything, so you can replace them. Um, but for now, we're gonna be able to throw objects further because why not? So when you're ready, go ahead and hit play and we'll get the second chapter going. Okay, so in this level, we are gonna be introduced to two new spiders, the spiderlings and the queen spider. Uh, the spiderlings just look like these tiny little white spiders. Let me see if I can get one to pop out here. There we go. These little white spiders, um, they're really easy to kill. They just take one, one hit. Okay, so um, your first objective is gonna kill, sorry, to be, to kill <laughs> 10 of those tiny little white spiders. Um, that'll happen naturally as you play through this level. When you kill the queen spiders, they actually spawn three to four of those, making this incredibly easy. So you don't really have to go out of your way to get it. So for now, uh, to the right is gonna be this bedroom door that requires four kills to unlock. And to the right of that is this little dresser here. Pick up the objective on top and we'll get the new one to destroy 10 picture frames. And you just need to hit them to actually shatter them. I think I just killed a spider <laughs> while doing that. Let's just check these really quick. Um, if you find yourself hitting the picture frames and they're not really breaking, you can shoot them or set them on fire. It's completely up to you on how you wanna do that. But there's another one in the middle of the little bookshelf here. And then over on the left-hand side are three more on this left wall. So go ahead and break those. And we have unlocked the master bedroom. So go ahead and go on inside. And in here, we are gonna get the first tracker upgrade as well as the first battery. And you can see the tracker upgrade is on the ground just by the bed here. So again, these look like little motherboards. Um, pretty easy to see on basically all of the levels. So. That'll be your first one. And then the first battery is gonna be in the nightstand to the left of the bed in the middle drawer. So go ahead and grab that. And we have three more picture frames that we can break here. So go ahead and smash them. 
and then above the headboard, and then on the wall. Alright, and we needed six uh, spider kills to unlock the bedroom, or sorry, the bathroom, but before we go in there, um, go to the left of where the TV is, and there's going to be a closet door here that's locked. Pick up the objective, and it's just going to tell you to unlock the closet door, and it has a golden lock on it, so we need to find the golden key to do so, but for now, um, we are going to go into the little bathroom here. I almost called it a bedroom again. <laughs> it's a bathroom. All right, and inside this little cupboard is gonna be some more hairspray, so go ahead and pick that up. So we'll check for all sorts of spiders here. Yeah, we definitely have one. One that apparently doesn't want to come out and play, so. Oh, all right, so there's a queen spider, so you can see what they look like. They're the ugly red and black ones. And this is the only one I'm gonna kill to show you what happens when you actually do kill them. Um, I will need the other ones for an objective, so. Let's see where this guy's running off to. And then as you can see, he spawns all of, or she spawns, excuse me, all those little spiderlings. So again, that objective is really easy to get because of that. Um, but for now, we did unlock the little boy's room, but go over to the right side of the bed and we're just gonna grab some bullets and possibly kill a spider. Nope, it's not there. All right, so just grab some bullets outside of that nightstand. And then exit this bedroom, and just across the hallway is the boys' bedroom, which takes 10 kills to unlock, which you have done. So go ahead and go inside, and you'll see that he is a streamer. Yay! Fun times. So there's going to be a couple of things in here. The first one is the top drawer of the nightstand. It has a little target with a 12, meaning you need to kill 12 spiders to get in there. Um, that is where that golden key is located, so... We just need to find one more spider to kill to get that one. Perfect. <laughs> so that's gonna be 12, but before we go in there, um, on the dresser behind you is gonna be the first flavor of cheesy poofs that we're gonna get. Uh, these are just the standard no flavor except cheese poofs. Um, so these are spider baits and what happens is when you place them when there's a spider nearby They are supposed to attract to them and go and munch on them making them easier to kill If they end up eating the entire bait they will transform into a specific spider depending on the bait that you placed So these regular standard cheese puffs ones will just turn them into a normal standard black spider um, but the other flavors We'll turn them into queen spiders, exploding spiders, et cetera, et cetera. And like, it just depends on what flavor you use, but we'll ignore that for now. And then uh, the second battery you need to pick up is gonna be in the top right drawer. So go ahead and grab that. And you can see that there's a picture frame on the floor here, but that's because that little spiderling tossed it off the bookshelf over here. So go ahead and smash that so that that counts towards that objective. I do have a spider over here, so I'm just going to set this all on fire and see if I can just catch it. Nope, oh, it's on the stand. Okay, so that's another queen spider that I'm not going to kill just yet because that is going to be used for an objective later on, and I want to keep them alive to give myself more chances to complete that, and you'll see why once we get there. So for now, because you do have the 12 kills required to open up the nightstand drawer, go ahead and do so, and then pick up the golden key inside. And we're gonna take this back to the other bedroom. And you don't have to put it perfectly in the lock, you just need to touch them, and then, of course, as you can see, that did unlock, so open up the closet door. And then inside, open up the little hutch, and there's gonna be a shotgun. 
as well as another queen spider, which is kind of perfect because we do need them right now. Now, if you look at your objectives, a new one has been added to kill two spiders with one shotgun blast. Now, there's a couple of ways that you can do this. Um, when I was trying to record this earlier, it was giving me so much trouble to just do it properly. But you can kill the queen spider and then quickly switch to the shotgun and just kill the babies as soon as they pop out. You can drop bait to try to attract the babies. Um, that was being a little finicky earlier, so I'm just gonna try the first method of kill and then quickly switch to a shotgun. And I missed all of them. <laughs> That's okay. Again, I kept the other queens alive in hopes that I would have a few tries at this, so let me see if I can find the other one. Let's try this again. Wait for her to get outside. There we go. You do have to be kind of quick with switching it, um, but but I found that to be a little easier than using the bait, um, just because it's not guaranteed that they'll a go for the bait and b that two will go for the bait. So it's. It's a little finicky. I just prefer to quickly switch the weapons. So we're basically done with everything in here. Um, now we're going to go. We're going to go into the study, which, as you can see, requires 15 kills, and we have 21. So once you have enough, go on inside, and we're going to get the rest of all of the collectibles that we need in this level. So first things first, on the chair on the other side is going to be your last objective, and that's going to be to discover a hidden room, which is also in here. There's also two picture frames. I saw that little creepy crawly. All right, two picture frames. Um, you just need, uh, oh yeah, you need both of them to finish that. So go ahead and hit both, and that'll finish up that objective. And then to the left side of the desk on the floor are gonna be two batteries. And then in the bin on the right side of the desk is gonna be another battery. And then underneath the pillow on the green chair is gonna be another battery. Now, if you looked at the trophies before playing, you'll know that there is a trophy for breaking all the dishes. Those mugs don't count towards that. Um, that is all done on one specific level, and it's actually the next one that we're gonna play. So if you see random dishes in, uh, like there were plates in the first level that you could break, and then those mugs, they, they don't count towards that. So now we're gonna get the hidden room, which is gonna be behind this bookshelf here. And you're just gonna interact with the blue, yellow, and white book. And that's gonna push it to the side and reveal the hidden room. Perfect, perfect. And now we're just gonna get the all the stuff in here, basically. So first is the battery, and that's gonna be the last one for the level. And then your upgrade. And then we have a couple of bullets here. And then on the top shelf is gonna be this safe. And as you can see, it requires five objectives to be completed before it'll unlock, which we have done so. So go ahead and open it up when you can. And inside is gonna be some C4 as well as some dollar dollar bills. So pick up the C4 and then we're gonna get a miscellaneous trophy out of the way super quick and that's to light this money on fire. You can try to blow it up if you want. Um, I found using the hairspray works much easier but if you don't have any more hairspray, you might not have a choice. But as you saw, that unlocks the sending a message trophy. And now we are done with everything, so we can go ahead and get the Arachno challenge done and out of the way. So this one is just gonna require shotgun kills, and we're gonna set it up so that we're just gonna stand in this little hallway here, right in front of the bookcase, and they're just gonna run back and forth, and we're just gonna play that, like, basically duck shooting game at the carnivals, except it's gonna be white spiders, so super fun. When you're ready, go ahead and interact with the boom box and we'll get the gauntlet started. <laughs> I missed the first one. This is starting off super great. But as you can see, again, they're just gonna run back and forth.
we go. So once you kill all 10, you'll be done, and we can go ahead and go through the exit now, which requires 20 spider kills, but we're sitting at a pretty 33, so we're good to go on that. Just interact with the door when you're ready, hit yes to continue, and we'll move on to level three, which is the domestic duties chapter. Okay, and we did pick up some upgrades, so we're gonna go ahead and get those turned on. Again, we don't have anything else to spend these points on, so it's basically a why not, let's just get it going. Um, you also have a tracker upgrade, and this is incredibly beneficial because whereas before you just had those radar lines, like all three are showing if you're close, only one if you're not anywhere near one, now you'll see a little red blip on your actual tracker, which makes it a lot easier to find these spiders. So once you're ready, go ahead and hit play. And this is the level that we are going to be getting at the Smash All the Dishes trophy on. Um, there's quite a handful, so we're gonna actually get the first part of that done um, first before we start blowing things up and setting things on fire and killing things. Um, that way we make sure we don't miss any. So go into the kitchen and we're just gonna pick up these two objectives really quick. And now we're just gonna start breaking dishes. So in the top cupboard, this first one on the left, there's gonna be eight plates. So make sure you get all eights. And if any of them fall out, um, there's a pretty good chance that they won't break when they hit the counter or floor. So you will need to make sure that you actually pick them up and physically break them. Case in point, this one fell on the floor, did not break. This one fell on the floor, did not break. So that's seven. Let me get this last one. All right, so that's that covered. And then the one right next to it, there's gonna be four mugs on the bottom shelf. And then five teacups on the top shelf. Oh, did that break? Yeah. All right, so that's that cupboard. And then by the sink, there was a mug here. I'm pretty sure I shattered it <laughs> while going for something else, but let me just double check and make sure it didn't go flying. Let's see, broken, broken, broken. Everything's broken. Okay, yeah, so there's gonna be two plates and two mugs in the sink, and one of my plates just went flying. And this is also why you wanna get this done first so that when they do go flying, you can easily go and find them and then break them. Okay, and then in the dishwasher, we're gonna have some more teacups and some more mugs. There's gonna be five teacups on the bottom and I believe four, no, five mugs on top. So 10 total in the dishwasher. Okay, and that'll pretty much finish that up for the kitchen. Um, as you can see, your trophy has not unlocked yet and that's because we have one more dish that we need to get which is stuck behind this door here. So this leads to the laundry room and that's where we're gonna get the last dish, but we need six spider kills to unlock that. So for now, let's go ahead and pick up some batteries. The first one by the door you came in on the bottom right. Yeah, bottom right drawer of this little hutch here. And then you may have seen it as we were walking by, but there is also one inside of the microwave. And then to the right of the stove, 
There's gonna be a little cupboard down here with a soup pot and inside the soup pot is gonna be the battery. Um, be careful with this because it likes to go flying. As you can see, my battery is no longer in there. So I kind of have to go searching for it now. Um, oh, there it is, okay. That's um, if you crouch when taking it out and then placing it down, it's less likely to do that. But just in case, um, if you don't and it does decide to just grow wings and fly away, you do have to go find it. And then there's another battery on this dining chair just by the dining room table. And that'll about finish it up for here. So now we're gonna empty the fridge to get that other miscellaneous objective done. And it's just basically, as it says, just take everything out of the fridge, place it on the floor, toss it across the room, do whatever you want to do, it doesn't really matter. And again, circle is to crouch because the game does not tell you that. And then just keep taking everything out. I see all these spiders. <laughs> and then in the drawer, the freezer, go ahead and take those out. and that'll finish that up. And now we just need to go ahead and kill some spiders. So on this one, we are gonna be introduced to one, possibly two new spiders. Um, the main one, all right, you little bastard. <laughs> okay, so the main one is gonna be the jumping spider, which is gonna be like an orange tinted, uh, fatty looking thing. find one for you. I know one jumped out at me. I don't remember killing it though. I can hear it. Oh, there's some hairspray. So that's what the jumping spiders look like. Um, if you did play this on Steam, you'll know that there is um, an achievement for killing one of those in air. Um, they did not add that one on the console, so if you're playing on PlayStation, you don't have to worry about that. Luckily, because it's kind of a pain in the butt <laughs> achievement to get. Um, so for now, we need two more spiders, but we did unlock the oven over here, which required four spider kills. So go ahead and open that up and inside is gonna be the first piece of equipment for this level and that is the frying pan, which is super fun to use. It's probably one of my favorite, favorite things. So let's go ahead and find two more spiders. And again, as you can see, your radar now shows red blips for where the spiders are. I already know there's one in the pizza box. And the second one is actually an invisible spider. So as you can see, we have a red blip, but there's nothing really visible here. So you're just gonna start swinging and under the table is gonna be this little light blue spider that appears. And these will appear in other levels as well, but they are required for the kill all spider trophy. Um, but yeah, so underneath the table is in fact a invisible spider. So let's see, we got six, so that's enough to open up the store. So let's go ahead and do so. All right, so inside the laundry room, we're gonna get two more flavors of our cheesy poofs, but first we're going to go ahead and kill that spider and that spider. <laughs> We're gonna kill all sorts of spiders. All right, so pick up the objective 
And this is just gonna tell you to feed the cheesy poofs to the spiders. And we have two different flavors down here. We got some chocolate ones. Oops. And then we have some ranch. So again, um, the ranch will turn the spiders into um, the invisible spiders and then the chocolate will turn them into jumping spiders. So kind of just pick your poison with it. I'm just gonna use the standard ones. See if I can catch this guy. There we go. So we're just gonna feed him a three different. Just wait for him to finish it. And then toss another one down. And another. Okay, so now that he's dead, <laughs> um, the dryer has now unlocked, which we needed three objectives to complete, or sorry, to unlock, which we have done. And inside is gonna be your upgrade. So go ahead and open that up when you can. Okay. And then on the right side of the dryer, on the floor is gonna be a battery. And then inside the washer, oh, hello. Is going to be another battery you have to jump to actually be able to see it but it's in there just on the bottom of it and now as i said there is one more dish in this room that we need to pick up or that we need to break to get the break all dishes trophy and that is unfortunately outside on the grill that plate right there now we can't pick it up and we can't toss it so we need to break it from the inside so you can just shoot it and call it a day you can try to blow it up with C4. You can do anything creative that you want to try, but honestly, just shooting it is the easiest way. And once you do, that trophy will unlock. So now we can head on into the garage, which takes 12 spider kills to open. And since we have 14, we are good to go. So let's go ahead and head on inside. All right, so we have a few things to do in here. Um, on uh, the right wall immediately when you enter is gonna be another objective to clean the garage. And then on the left table is gonna be at the last one. And that's going to place all the tools back on the wall up here. So I'm just gonna grab these bullets here before we start doing that. I hear him, but I don't see him. There we go. Okay, so for this one, we just need to place all the tools back on the wall. They will highlight once you pick them up, um, showing you exactly where they need to go. So it's pretty easy in that sense. No, oh, only the actual um, like tool tools, the plant tools, like the spade and stuff, they don't go up on the wall. It's only like the hammers and screwdrivers and stuff like that. So make sure you're only going for those. It's a slow and steady process, but we'll get there. Some wrenches. screwdrivers and some putty knives. And we have a hammer. And then the last screwdriver is gonna be inside this toolbox here, which is also gonna have a lot of spiders, <laughs> as well as two batteries. All right, so go ahead and grab the two batteries and that'll finish up those for this level and then put the screwdriver up on the wall and that'll finish up that objective. And now we need to take care of the barrels in the garage, which is basically these explosive barrels right here. So just shoot them and they will explode and that'll finish up that, that objective. 
And before we start the Arachno Gauntlet, we're just gonna go over to this green trash bin and look inside. And it's a little burnt because we just blew up a canister next to it. But you do have a tracker upgrade inside there. And over at the front of the car is gonna be this cabinet that we needed to complete four objectives to unlock, which we have done. So go ahead and go inside. And now we have some Molotov cocktails. Perfect. All right, so now we are good and set to start the uh, Arachno Gauntlet. So as you can see, it just says kill spiders with fire. We have the Molotov um, cocktails now. We have the C4, we have the hairspray, basically anything that can and will start a fire will work for this. So I'm just gonna use the Molotovs and see if we can just go from here. I saw one just behind me right there. All right, so once it's done, wait for the fire to kind of chill out a little bit. I'm gonna pick up this hairspray because it wouldn't let me. Oh, I'm full, all right. Yeah, so if you're full on bullets for a certain gun, it won't actually let you pick anything up. So if you do want to pick it up, just spritz a little, and there you go. Um, but yeah, we're done with level two now, so we can, oh, sorry, level three. <laughs> so we need 20 kills to go through the exit. We're sitting at 29, which is more than enough. So go ahead and interact with that garage door and we can exit out. Okay, and again, we did pick up some upgrades so we can go ahead and equip those. Now you can sprint by pushing in the left analog stick as you play. Um, this will make things go a bit quicker now. And then of course we have another tracker upgrade module and this will just show you how many spiders are left in each level. Um, you don't need to kill every single spider in every single level, but if you do want to, this will help you out in doing so. So once you're ready, go ahead and hit play and we will start the major inconvenience level, which again is level four. Okay, so if the title didn't give it away, we are of course gonna be mostly in a convenience store on this level, but there's also a gas station as well as an area out back that we'll be going through and just kill this guy really quick. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna grab the objective off of the front doors here, and that of course is gonna to be to fix the electrical problem. And there's gonna be three parts to this. Um, in each of the three areas is gonna be a fuse box that you just need to interact with. And then once you interact with all three, that objective will be complete. So for now, we can't do that. And then on uh, the counter just below the monitor is going to be another objective and that's to scan items worth a total of $100. What they don't tell you is that you can only scan a max of 10 items. So it says it on there, sorry, it says it there on the screen, but it doesn't say it on the actual objective. But we'll only need three to get to that point, so we'll do that here in a second. But first things first, we're gonna pick up the first battery, which is gonna be in this trash bin just to the right of the front doors to the convenience store. And then we're gonna pick up a second one and it's gonna be behind the counter on the, sorry, in the cabinet to the right. There's gonna be some hairspray as well as a battery down on the bottom shelf. And then if you want some bullets, there's some in the other cabinet, the one by the back door here. So go ahead and pick those up if you need them. And then from here, we are just going to start killing uh, some spiders. Um, 
yeah, so here we are gonna be introduced to the exploding spiders, where if you hit them once, they will stop, blink red a couple of times, or more so glow red a couple, a bit-ish, some, um, and then eventually explode. So that's what we're looking for. Oh, there's one right there, perfect. So yeah, just hit it once and it'll go boom. <laughs> so we have a new objective to kill. Um, we had a new objective, I should say, to kill a spider with an exploding spider. As you can see, there's a very good chance that you will get that um, without even trying, because there's a lot of spiders here and there's some pretty good chances to get it outside. Um, so just keep that in mind as you play along that that is in fact an objective and there's a spider that we killed with it. So it's got a pretty good range of an explosion, I would say. Um, so in here, you can just set everything on fire if you want. <laughs> Probably make your life a lot easier versus trying to find all the spiders. There we go, there's another one. And then for the shopping spree, the scan 100 items. There's actually a, sorry, an alcohol that is worth $35, I wanna say. And it, it's this bottle right here, the one that doesn't have the wax on the neck of it. So there's one, two, three, four, seven, seven of these bottles. So you only need three. Go ahead and take this back to the counter. Scan it. And then grab another one. It would appear my trash can has moved. <laughs> and then just one more. All right, and I'll finish up that objective right there. So now we can go back to killing spiders. I definitely saw this guy over here. All right, and I think that only needed six, so it only needed five. Okay, so on the left side of the exit door leading to the back, there's gonna be this little mini fridge here that we only need three kills to unlock. So we have six, so we're good to go on that. Go ahead and open it up. And on the bottom shelf is gonna be the energy drink, which is super OP, <laughs> especially if you're trying to do like a specific, um, objective or even the arachno gauntlets, but when you drink it, it slows down time. I'm not gonna use one right now because we will be needing those for the arachno gauntlet on this level. So I'm just gonna save them, but just make sure there's no more spiders. All right, so when you're ready, go ahead and interact with the back door, which again required five spider kills to get. And since we have now seven kills, we're good to go. So head on outside. And to the left is gonna be the electrical box that we need to interact with. Hit that one. Yeah, so that exploding spider that I just hit is a really good one to get that um, kill a spider with an exploding spider objective. Oh, well, it's really hard to say. But yeah, just kill another one with it. So interact with the fuse box and that's gonna be two out of the three fuse boxes we need. And then on the far side of this propane tank is gonna be another objective and that's just to detonate the propane tank, which is gonna be super easy. Just go ahead and shoot it. And there you go. You have destroyed half the store, but that's okay. That was supposed to happen. And then we're gonna head back over here to the dumpsters where you're gonna see a lot of spiders just kicking it. But on the one on the right is gonna be an objective. Go ahead and pick that up. And that's to put trash bags in the dumpsters and there's five trash bags total. But before we start to do that, there is a battery in the left dumpster here. Now this is one of the ones where you really wanna be careful not to go exploding the barrels first. Um, or like right away or like any of that stuff because this one potentially can go flying up and over this fence and when it does it's really it's really hard and or impossible to get so make sure you grab that before going crazy and then go ahead and pick up the hairspray here and we're just gonna pick up this first trash bag and stick it in the little dumpster try that again <laughs> 
Okay, and then up on top of the semi is going to be another one. And they don't have to be put in the same dumpster. You can do left or right or a mix of both. Like, they'll all count, so. There's so many spiders everywhere. All right, so there's a third one on top of this wire spool here. So go ahead and bring that back. I don't have to kill them all, but I want to kill them all. All right. Oh, hello. Okay, and then behind this yellow container, behind all these spools here, I'm gonna pick up those Molotovs, there's gonna be another trash bag back here, but there's also gonna be another battery on the ground, so make sure you pick that up before you grab the trash bag, and then just bring the bag over to the dumpster. Right, and then go back to the front side of the semi on the water tower side and just underneath the front tire is gonna be another battery. So go ahead and grab that. And now we can start opening up these containers. Grab that guy real quick. So there's three in total. There's the yellow one, which requires eight, the red one, which requires 12, and the blue one, which requires 15. And the blue one will lead to the front of the gas station area. So we're gonna do that one last. So let's just do them in order. Let's go yellow, red, and then blue. So again, eight for yellow. And here we have the next flavor of cheesy poofs. Oh my God. <laughs> and a spider. All right, so go ahead and grab the spice explosion. And these are gonna turn your spiders into explosive spiders, so. I'll just toss that one down and I'll show you. There he goes. And there he goes. All right, so that's the yellow container. And now we're going to head over to the red container, which takes 12 spider kills to open. So go ahead and open it. Right, and inside we're gonna have our fifth and final trash bag that we need to put in the dumpsters. So go ahead and do so to finish off that objective. And there we go. We can go ahead and hit this for shits and giggles if we want, because why not? Maybe we'll catch a spider or two. <laughs> but we're not quite done with the red container yet. So go on through the other side and on the ground is gonna be a silenced pistol. Make sure you pick up the ammo that is sitting right next to it. And in the tent is gonna be another battery that you can pick up. So make sure you grab that before moving forward. And now we're gonna head through the blue container, which takes 15 spider kills to open. So go ahead and unlock it when you can. And head on through. And now we are gonna be in the main gas station area. So before we do anything, we're gonna interact with this fuse box. And that's gonna finish up that um, fixiological problems little objective. And it's also gonna give us access to the convenience store should you need to go in there. We're pretty much done with that, so we don't really have to worry about it. Um, but for now, go uh, left. Yeah, left. <laughs> and then behind the porta potties, there's gonna be a battery just on the ground there. And then the right porta potty is, of course, the objective locked equipment thing. So uh, we need to complete three objectives and we've done five. So we're good to go on that. So open up the porta potty when you can. And inside is going to be your little upgrade. So go ahead and pick that up and then turn around and then just pass this blue car here. Oh, there's an exploding spider. Go ahead and grab that guy. Just past the blue car is gonna be this little uh, sewer on the ground and inside is gonna be another battery. So go ahead and pick that up. And then just keep following along this leftmost wall and just by the ambulance over there, there's gonna be a wheelchair that has the ninth, yeah, ninth and final battery to pick up for this level. Lots of spiders, there's so many spiders. 
All right, so follow this road and then not the first drain that you come to, but the second one is gonna have the tracker upgrade inside of it. So go ahead and pick that up. And now we're just about done, but we are gonna get a miscellaneous trophy out of the way really quick, and that is to blow up the gas station. And it's pretty easy. You can set it on fire, you can shoot it, which is basically what I'm gonna do. And then it's gonna explode, and you are going to get a trophy. There we go, oil boom, perfect, perfect. And now we have just one more piece of equipment to actually pick up, and that is the kerosene. And that's just gonna be by this teal looking colored car over here on the right hand side. So make sure you pick that up before you go and that'll finish up just about everything in this level. So now we can go ahead and do the Arachno Gauntlet. And this one is for killing spiders without using explosives. And that's where the energy drink is gonna come into play because again, when you use it, it slows down time and it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier. And we're just gonna do, yeah, yeah, we can use a frying pan for this. Um, you can use a gun if you want. Again, I'm not really that good with it. Um, if you wanna switch out your layout down on the bottom, um, L1 and R1 is to move your cursor and then square is to reassign whatever item you wanna put there. So um, just for future, if you, want to use it it's there if not all good <laughs> all right so now we're going to start the gauntlet and the boom box is on the counter inside the convenience store here so just interact with it and i'm just going to go ahead and drink one energy drink and as you can see it has slowed down time and i just need to kill five spiders without using explosives they can explode, but you can't actually kill them with explosives. Like, it's, it's weird. And there we go. And there's the five spiders. There's the challenge complete. And lots of death, lots of fire. Just how we like it. So now we can go ahead and exit out of this level, which is going to be just beyond the garbage truck here. And inside the garbage truck, there are more Molotovs if you want to pick them up. Um, you don't have to, but they're there if you want to. And the exit will require 25 uh, spider kills to open, and we have 34, so we're good to go. Go ahead and interact with it when you can. Go past that. Are you sure you want to exit screen? And then we can move on to level five. Okay, and again, we do have some upgrades that we can uh, equip if we want. Um, I don't recommend using the kerosene soaked bullets just because, again, if you have upgrades and batteries that you need to collect, you wanna be able to still see them. And if something catches fire without you wanting it to, then you won't be able to see it as well. So I'm gonna skip that one and then I just go ahead and Equip the D cells one, which will just make your tracker last a little bit longer. Not that it died super quick anyways, but you know, every little bit helps. So once you're ready, go ahead and hit play and we're gonna start the Garden of Evil. All right, so in this level, we will be introduced to the web throwing spiders, which of course, we are gonna need to get a um, little miscellaneous trophy to kill a spider while stuck in a web. But before we do anything, just walk forward a little bit. Oh, there's one right there, perfect. So that's what they look like. So we're gonna go ahead and get this done really quick here. Wait for him to shoot another one at me. No, not gonna do it. All right. Anywho, so if you go back to the entrance, um, there was this little lantern like thing and on the ground just next to it is a battery. Go ahead and pick that up. And then we're gonna head into the first little Zen garden area and then immediately turn left and there's gonna be a little torch 
uh, brassiere here and just behind it are going to be two batteries on the ground so go ahead and pick those up and then in the middle we're going to get these little objective flags um, this is what they look like for this level and that is to solve the riddle in this first little zen garden area um, so we're going to go ahead and do that but first i really want to find another of these spiders okay so there's one I thought I just killed it. So as it's running, it's gonna shoot a web at you. And you just need to get hit by it and then kill any spider. It doesn't have to be the one that shot you. It doesn't have to be the same type. It can be a spiderling, a normal black spider, anything. Just you have to have the web obscuring your vision while you kill the spider to get that trophy. So pretty easy peasy on that one. Let's go ahead and Get some more. Okay, so I think that's enough for that door. Yeah. So before we leave, um, we are gonna finish this little puzzle here. Let me grab this hairspray. Um, this bonsai tree, we are gonna be needing a little later. So I'm actually gonna bring this over and put it next to this door. And then we also have this statue, which we're gonna be needing for the last section of this level, excuse me. Um, so from here, we are going to light these three little braziers that are sitting around um, the little Zen garden. So grab your hairspray and then just give them a little spritz. And that will finish up that very first challenge there. Don't you do it. <laughs> okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So now we have enough kills to go through this first door. It only required five and we have six. So unlock it when you can. And there's also an, uh, sorry, another trophy to uh, burn down the majority of the hedge maze. And that is also in this level. So as you can see, all of the walls are made of grass and you just need to burn all of it down. So do a little spritzes. Um, don't lay down on the hairspray so you don't waste it. Like you are limited with how much you will get for this level. and. If you waste it all, then it's just gonna make your life a whole lot more difficult than it has to be. But yeah, so you just wanna go and destroy about, oh, I would say about 90% of the hedges in this level to get this trophy. So we're just gonna do that as we go. Um, this is part of an objective to uh, um, uncover two little hidden pathways. This is the second one, actually, but this is the third area, but we don't need it yet. So just keep going forward and make your way through the door. Again, just do a little spritz on the walls and then pick up the trimmer. And this is going to be the first piece of equipment that we pick up for this level. It's a nifty little one, but we won't actually be using it too much except for one of the arachno challenges in one of the future levels. So this guy thinks I don't see him. <laughs> okay, so kill that spider and then uh, go through this little opening and over to the left is going to be the next objective. So go ahead and pick that up and that's going to be the life imitates art little challenge and on the ground behind it is some hairspray as well as another battery. And this is what we're going to need that bonsai tree for. So go back and pick up the tree. And we're going to bring it to this area. As you can see, we have three little glowing uh, spots to put it on so there's two bonsai trees and then there's another one just behind you uh, so here we have all three now you need to place these on the little trays so that they match the trees on the little bonsais so this one is going to match that back tree right there because it's got the little y-shaped branches this one i can't see <laughs> Uh, all right, so this is the tall one. It's kind of hard to see, but it's gonna be this tall bonsai just next to you. And then process of elimination will tell you that this third one is gonna go in the third spot. And that's gonna finish up that little objective right there. And before we go any further, we're gonna grab another battery, which is gonna be just behind the tall bonsai tree. 
the little pedestal that you put the small tree on is going to be the battery. And we do need to kill a couple of spiders. Um, there's plenty in this area to do that with. So just gotta find them. I know there's one underneath this one. Don't you. Oh, throwing webs at me. Yeah, you can kind of see which ones the spiders are underneath because their legs sort of stick out just a smidgen. Oh, no, the bullets. All right, there were bullets right there. If you did hit them and you want them, you have to kind of go and figure out where they landed. But I think I'm pretty good with that. So um, once you have killed, uh, let's see, 10? Yeah, 10 spiders, the next door will unlock. But before we go through that door, there's going to be another little lantern looking thing right here. And just behind that is going to be another battery. So make sure you pick that up. And then we're going to go ahead and, oh, actually, we're going to go back and set fire to some hedges because we still need to burn a pretty good amount of the walls here. Okay, so go ahead and go through the door once you can. And we actually just completed another challenge and that was to uh, uh, reveal the hidden parts, or sorry, the hidden paths. Um, we actually pick it up over yonder, but because we already completed it, the flag has now disappeared, but go ahead and head through this door and immediately turn around and there's gonna be the tracker upgrade on the ground just next to the door. And we have another little lion statue that we're gonna be needing here. So I'm just gonna pick this up and bring it with me. I wish you could sprint while carrying things, but you can't. So we're just kind of stuck with that. And there are some bullets over by the exit door, which we're not gonna go through just yet. Um, yeah, shotgun shells if, if you need them. So now we're gonna grab another battery or another couple of batteries, I should say. Uh, this is where that um, objective flag would have been if we didn't already burn down the hedges to reveal those two hidden paths. And then just to the left of that behind this rock is going to be another battery. And then we're going to go up the stairs. Oi. <laughs> and then around the shrine and in the back on this little railing is going to be the last battery and of course the boom box for the arachno gauntlet which we can't do just yet so go behind this little shrine here and go ahead and interact with that objective flag and as you can see we're going to have to place four let me grab that hairspray four lion statues on each of the pedestals and you're going to place them from largest to smallest, left to right. So all four are within this area, so we can go ahead and grab them pretty easy, but I'm just gonna burn a couple more hedge walls here. Again, we're looking at about 90% of the walls being destroyed with fire for this trophy. So it should be popping pretty soon. There we go. All right, so once that trophy unlocks, you can go ahead and ignore burning everything else down. Um, again, you have to do a pretty good chunk of them. You're really only leaving like one or two blocks, but once you're ready, go ahead and, sorry, we're gonna go back to where the shrine was and start placing the uh, lion statues down. So just pick them up one at a time 
And you can place them down and then just reorganize them later. It's more than fine. And then this tiny little guy was actually upstairs, but I knocked him down because it was a spider. <laughs> so if you can't find him, just look up by the shrine. And then the last one, of course, was by the entrance. And it's the one that I showed you before we burnt down this little opening here. There was a lion statue just next to it. So grab that. And we're gonna place it down. And again, we wanna organize these from largest to smallest. So this one is gonna go there. Little itty bitty. There you go. And that's gonna complete that objective right there. Perfect, perfect. And now we're gonna go up the shrine. And as you can see, there is a locked door in front of us that we needed to complete five objectives to unlock, which we have done. So once you're ready, interact with the door to open it up. And inside we're gonna grab a whole bunch of stuff. So there's gonna be one more objective flag and that is to strike swiftly. And as you can see on the floor in front of you is just a bunch of shurikens. Go ahead and pick those up. And you need to kill a spider with one of these to finish that objective. But before you leave, go ahead and pick up the present. And that's gonna be the upgrade for yourself. And the giant magnet is useful if you plan on using the shurikens a lot because it helps pick them up, which <laughs> you will need to do. Um, you don't automatically pick them up. Okay, and if you wanna make this easier on yourself, you can drink an energy drink to uh, slow down time and make aiming these a little easier, but I'm trying to save those for the Arachno Gauntlet Challenge um, because I will be wanting all of the ones I can get for that. My aim is absolutely wretched <laughs> with these. Oh, come on, that one was close. You really have to be pretty spot on with these. This is by far like my least favorite weapon in the game for that very reason, like the precision you need. is painful <laughs> but we can't move on until we kill a spider with these all right i'm gonna try this one again sir there we go all right got one all righty so that's going to be the last challenge that we needed to complete and now we can go ahead and move on to the arachno uh, gauntlet which is again up here by the shrine up on the railing and uh, we need to kill spiders with shurikens, which as you can see, I am not very good with, but luckily again, we have this wonderful thing called energy drinks, <laughs> which is gonna make this a whole lot easier. So make sure you have your energy drinks assigned to a slot next to the shurikens so that we can hopefully get this going a little, a little better than what it's been going. Um, I am missing two though. Did I not pick up That's one? Oh, for Pete's sake. That was not necessary. All right, there we go. So you should have eight. If you don't have eight, it means you are missing one of them and need to go and pick it up. But once you're ready, go ahead and start the challenge. And I'm just gonna take a sip of this energy drink right now so we can slow down time and still completely miss everything. There we go. There we go. And then just take another one once the first one runs out.
And then take another one once that one runs out. And again, this is why you wanted to save those energy drinks so that you had, uh, oh my God, them at your disposal. Sir, where is he? Another one. And these really just make this challenge super OP. <laughs> like I just need one more and I would be needing a lot more if I weren't able to slow down time. So I will gladly take it. I don't know where the, where is he? Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, come on. That was like right on him. Oh, no, I shot him. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> there we go. All right. So once you're done, be sure to pick up all of your shurikens. I have six. I need two more. Seven. Okay, we're just gonna call it there. So we have all of the uh, equipment that we needed to get. We have the batteries, we have our upgrades. So we are good to go ahead and exit out of this level. So go towards the exit and you need 20 kills to unlock it. We have 22, so we're good to go and exit out once you can. And we'll move on to level six, which is gonna be the barn storm. Okay, and as before, we did get some upgrades in that level. Um, I don't plan on using the Shuriken, so I'm not gonna install the giant magnet, at least not right now. Um, we will, we can use it for another Arachno Gauntlet in the future, but we're pretty good right now. And then your tracker upgrades. This is just gonna tell you what type of spiders are still left. Um, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. You can install it if you want. You can ins not install it if you want. It, it doesn't really matter too much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it because I don't have anything else to spend the points on. And yeah, that's how we roll. So once you're ready, go ahead and hit play and we'll get this one going. All right, so let's go ahead and get this one started. First, we're gonna start off picking up some batteries so that we don't misplace them or shoot them off in some random direction. So the first one is gonna be over on the left-hand side behind these little grain bags. It's just gonna be on the ground right there. And then head back towards the greenhouse and then go left. And there's gonna be one on the ground just between these two hay bales and go ahead and pick up that objective paper on the right just in front of them. And of course, it's gonna tell you to burn 15 hay bales, which will be pretty easy, nothing too difficult, but right in front of the greenhouse, just to the ground, just, bleh, just on the ground to the right is a battery and an explosive spider. Make sure you pick up the battery before exploding the spider so you don't have to go out and find it. And then we're gonna head over to the barn side and there's gonna be two porta potties over here and, and behind the seat on the left side one, let me go ahead and pick up these Molotovs, is gonna be another battery. So crouch down to pick it up if you need to. And we can't open up the right one yet. Of course, you see we need 35 spider kills to get that one. And then head over into the area just across the way from the barn and go ahead and pick up that objective. And that's to drop an anvil on a spider, which is also a trophy. And you're gonna need this balloon that is just attached, attached to this cement block here. And that is the first piece of equipment for this level. And what you're gonna do is attach two to three balloons 
on this little anvil here. Looks like two is gonna be good enough. And we're gonna go ahead and place a piece of bait down right underneath it, see if we can get that, all right. And then take any gun that you have and then just wait for a spider to come out. Might have to lower them out a little bit. I think I saw one over there somewhere. Oh, oh, I shot something. <laughs> Okay, so while that's waiting, um, all this hay bale is burning over here, but there is a battery by these hay bales. It could be in front, it could be on top, it could be behind. It'll pretty much vary for everybody. Oh, there's a spider. So once there's a spider underneath the anvil, go ahead and shoot the balloons. And if it's underneath and it hits it, you will get that objective as well as the trophy. But as you can see, I missed it. So let me go ahead and get some more balloons on there. All right, sir, I need you to get out of that tire. Okay. And then just as before, go ahead and place some bait down just underneath it. I don't think that's underneath it. It's kind of underneath it. That'll have to do. So wait for the black spider to go to the other piece of bait. There it goes. And I'm gonna go ahead and shoot your balloons. And as you saw, it landed on the spider. So that will finish up that objective as well as get the that's all folks trophy done. And this wood is just burning like mad over here. So we can start working on that hay bale um, objective here as well. And again, you just need to burn 15 hay bales for it. Let me see if that one catches fire on its own. It does, perfect. Um, so exit out of this little stable area and then go left. And just to the left of the porta potties are three stacked hay bales that you can catch fire as well. And behind those is gonna be a chest, or sorry, a chest, a, uh, a case that we can open that has one of the equipment pieces. But as you can see, we need to complete three objectives to unlock it and we only have one done. So let's go ahead and continue on our hay bale burning adventure. So head back to the greenhouse and just go ahead and burn those. Okay, so that's all the ones that are visible right now. So now we need to kill some spiders so that we can actually open up the greenhouse. And just before we do, there's gonna be a little area behind this white picket fence. And this first table that has all these little orange pots and stuff on it. Um, crouch down underneath it and move one of the big pots to find another battery. And then make your way to the very end of this little area and pick up the objective note, which is of course to shatter pots and then open up the little chest on the end and get, okay, that was rude. <laughs> all right, and then get your tracker upgrade and then just start breaking all the pots that you can see to finish off the 20 pot breaking objective here. And all the pots count, all the vases, everything that you can basically shatter in this area. Let's just go. There we go. All right, so now, oh, that's all you, sir. Let's go ahead and start killing some spiders. Alrighty, so now we have at least five spiders killed so we can go inside the greenhouse. So go ahead and unlock it when you can. and then pick up the objective note in the middle as well as the bullets just behind that. And then the back left corner is gonna be another battery, so pick that up. And as that objective says, we just need to pick up 23 vegetables. So just keep, sorry, start picking these up out of the ground. There you go. So I'll finish that one off. I'm just gonna kill all these spiders. I'm actually gonna set them on fire because I don't wanna deal with this. 
Oh, no, I can't. They will set themselves on fire. Even better. Okay, so that'll about finish it up for the uh, greenhouse. And then just to the right of that is going to be this garage that requires 10 spider kills to unlock. So we're sitting at 22, which is, of course, more than enough. So go ahead and open that up. And then on the far side of the table, we have these flashbang grenades. And then just below that in this little tray thing is a battery that just went flying. So make sure you pick that up before you go. And there's also some more hairspray on the actual tractor itself. Get my frying pan. <laughs> Okay, so we have another hay bale here that we can go ahead and set on fire. See if it actually catches. That one's a little finicky. Um, if it doesn't catch on fire, that's okay. There's plenty inside uh, the uh, uh, barn that you can get. All right, and we have three objectives complete, so we can go ahead and open up that case to the left of the porta potties. So go ahead and do so. <clears throat> And inside is our assault rifle, which we will need for a trophy as well as um, one of the uh, future arachno gauntlets, as well as the arachno gauntlet in uh, this level. So it'll come in pretty handy, I would say, I would say. There we go. And there was an invisible spider on the back of the trash bin lid right there. Um, if you're still short on spiders, you can use your radar and it'll clearly show you where they are. Um, otherwise, there are, sorry, there is one on the other side of this sign that you can easily just kill. Ooh, that went flying. I thought I saw a queen spider with it, but maybe not. But yeah, so once you have 25 spider kills, go ahead and make your way into the barn. All right, so here's the last of the hay bales that we can burn. Get these spiders out of the way. But before... <laughs> Before you start burning them, just look behind them and there is another battery on the ground. Go ahead and pick that up. Um, if you burn them before you pick that up, it'll just be burnt and kind of hard to see. So just, yeah, make it easier on yourself and pick it up before you start going crazy burning hay bales. So that'll finish up the burn 15 hay bale objective as well as unlock the arachno gauntlet because that's the last one we needed but before we do that we're going to get some miscellaneous stuff so there's the boom box to start the gauntlet just behind that is going to be this white little cabinet here and inside is your upgrade so pick that up and then to the left of that is an orange crate that just has a whole bunch of ammo if you need it um, you probably won't need all of it and that's perfectly fine as you can see, we're full on assault rifle rounds, so it won't give it to us. And then exit out of the barn and then go right. And now we have 35 kills, so we can open up the right porta potty. So go ahead and do so. And inside we have another flavor of cheesy poofs. So go ahead and pick up the cheesy poofs. And now we are done here. So we can start the Arachno Gauntlet, which again is going to require you to use the assault rifle. So I'm gonna go ahead and equip that now. And yeah, you just have to kill the spiders without reloading. So one clip is 30 bullets and you need to kill five spiders, which is pretty easy peasy. So just go to town with it. And if you need to, you can uh, take an energy drink and make your life a lot easier for this. So, there we go.
And that's the challenge complete. So this will finish up this level. We have all the equipment, we have all the upgrades, we have all the batteries, we got our cheesy poofs, and we just need 50 kills to unlock the exit. So if you're still short, go ahead and clean those up now. I'm just gonna start setting everything on fire because YOLO. It's one more, there we go. So now we have 50, so exit when you can, and then just bypass this ready to go screen. And we can move on to level seven, which is the paper trail. And we're gonna go inside an office building. Um, just as a heads up, level seven or paper trail is the first level where we are not gonna do the arachno gauntlet um, once we finish everything else. We're gonna wait until we pick up an upgrade that is in the last level, which gives us unlimited ammo which will make doing it much, much easier. So don't worry about that for the next level. Um, we're just gonna pick up all the equipments, upgrades, uh, more cheesy poofs, <laughs> and then batteries and all that good stuff. So I did skip the upgrades for now, not really needing them for this level. This one's pretty straightforward. So the first thing we're gonna do is pick up a battery so on the desk in the top left drawer is the battery and then there's some hairspray right below it so go ahead and pick that up and then on the table in the corner between the white couch and the white chair is the second battery so go ahead and pick that up and now we just need to kill some spiders so i'm just going to set all of this stuff on fire Okay, so while they're born, or warning, while they're burning, head over back to the desk and on the bulletin board just next to you is gonna be an objective, which of course is to burn eight computers. And I already got one in the midst of killing a bunch of spiders. So that's pretty much taken care of. And now we need to kill two more spiders to actually unlock this door. So you can use your radar or just wait for them to appear on their own. Last one is probably in the bin. There we go. All right, so once you have all five, go ahead and go through the door. Okay, and you're gonna immediately go right and then on this shelf here behind the stack of papers is gonna be another battery. And if you could stop spraying me with that stuff. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> behind the stack of papers is the battery on the shelf there. And I'm just gonna set this all on fire because I don't wanna deal with anything else that might be there. And then if you turn around, there's gonna be a computer tower here. Now I'm just gonna drag these all into the center so that I don't waste uh, my hairspray or explosives, trying to do them all individually. I just grab them here. One, two, three, four. I got that one, yeah. Five, and number six. All right, so once they're all in a pile, you can just set them all on fire. And again, that'll just save you hairspray. And there we go. Okay. Uh, the objectives, we don't have access to the radioactive spiders just yet, but we will, um, but when those come about there's another objective that we need to keep them alive for but i'll explain that all once we get there um, there is a trophy for shooting the rpg at the printer this is the printer you need to shoot it at and we will pick up the rpg a little bit later in this level but for now 
we're just gonna continue killing spiders. So for that one, we need uh, 10 spiders. And for this one, we need 15. So let's go ahead and get to work on murdering little creepy crawlies. All right, and this desk by the window, go ahead and pick up the monitor and underneath it is gonna be a battery. So make sure you grab that before you continue. Oh, I did the wrong one. That's fine. Okay. Mm Okay, that one apparently does not want to come out, so. <laughs> All right, so we got another one. Don't you shoot it. So there's 15. We're going to go through the door that requires 10 first, and this is going to put us in the server room. And we're going to grab a battery and then complete a little miscellaneous objective and all that sorts. So, oh, there's a couple of dead spiders. Nice. Just what I like to see. So head on inside and then immediately go right. And on this top shelf here, it's kind of hard to see, but between this picture frame and this little flower pot, is a battery so make sure you pick that up before you go and then interact with the paper on the server to get another objective and you need to find eight usb sticks to put inside the server and there's going to be one behind this picture frame here if it lets me pick it up there we go and then one on this little tower and then move this monitor and there's going to be one just underneath it. And then on the computer chair itself is going to be another one. And then there's going to be two, one on the corner of the desk and then one on this little tray cart. So go ahead and grab both of those. And then the last two are going to be over here. So there's going to be one inside the trash can and then one on this shelf over here. So once you have them all, that'll set it on fire, which is the intention. Don't worry about it. It's perfectly fine. It's what was supposed to happen. So now we are done in this room, so we can head out and go through uh, the door that required 15 kills, and this will take us to the break room. Okay, so head on inside, and then once you're in the break room, immediately go left, and inside the vending machine is the last flavor of cheesy poofs that we need, and these will turn your spiders, excuse me, your spiders into uh, spider queens. So that's what that one does. 
I'm gonna grab my frying pan. Go ahead and kill that guy. Ooh, everything went flying. All right, perfect. So head over to the sink. And just underneath the sink is gonna be a fire extinguisher. And this is of course going to be one of the equipment pieces that we need. And in the microwave, it got pushed a little, but there is a battery inside of the microwave. And now we're gonna get a miscellaneous trophy out of the way, which also happens to be an objective. And that is of course, make a wish. And what we need to do is blow out the candles on this birthday cake and we're gonna use the fire extinguisher to do so. Um, you can't be super close to the cake. You do have to be standing back a little bit. So I would say about, oh God, like five feet or so. Um, but yeah, go ahead and just blow it at the cake and that'll blow out the candles and that will finish that objective. And I completely lied, that's not a trophy. <laughs> I think I'm mixing up steam again. Um, but yeah, that is an objective that you needed to complete for this level, so it works out. So now we have two bathrooms that we can go into. The men's bathroom is already open, so head on inside and then immediately go left and there's gonna be a battery inside the left urinal. Pick up the objective paper on the stall wall and as you can see, we have to destroy six toilets. There are two inside the men's bathroom and four inside the women's bathroom. And just behind the last stall over here is gonna be the tracker upgrade. So go ahead and pick that up. Kill the spiders really quick. And of course, again, these are the toilets that you need to destroy. There we go. All right, so there is a little code here on this wall. Um, it's doesn't really have anything to do with console or the console version of the game, but it's for the women's bathroom. It's keep one toilet seat up, one down, one up, one down. Um, that's more of a steam related thing. It doesn't have anything to really do with the console. So in case you see that and are wondering what it is, it's for this room right here, but I need to kill another spider before it'll let us in there. So let me go find a spider. Perfect. Okay, so now we can go inside the women's room. So head on inside when you can. Ta da! Okay, so again, that little. Did he run away? He ran away. Okay. So just open up all the stalls here. And again, it was one seat up, one seat down, one seat up, one seat down. But as you can see, nothing really happens here. So don't worry about it too much. Um, instead, we're just gonna go ahead and destroy some toilets because YOLO. So destroy all four, kill any spiders that happen to make their way out of them. And that will of course finish up the destroy toilets little objective here. So this will finish up this room for you. Not really much else we can do. So go on and exit out. And we're just gonna follow the hallway as it turns right. And there is a spider up here too. So we're gonna kill that guy. All right, so ignore the exit for now. And we're gonna go through this door over here on the right hand side, but we need two more spider kills before it'll let us in there. Um, just to the right of that is another objective little paper on this bulletin board. So go ahead and pick that up and we are going to go locate two more spiders to murder. One. 
Okay, and there was a white one that was <laughs> blocking the bullets in the sink. So let's head back to that door that required 25. Now, before we go in, I'm gonna explain these radioactive and zombie spiders. So as you can see, the objective is to uh, kill 10 zombie spiders. And these appear from the radioactive spiders. So if you look around the room, there's already some dead spiders just kind of everywhere. And what will happen is the radio radioactive spiders will walk over to the dead spiders and then bring them back to life as zombie spiders. So you don't want to kill all of the radioactive ones right away because you do need 10 zombie spiders. So we're just going to spook them. Um, to get them going so that they start spawning those zombies and we're also going to collect a couple of things along the way so I'm just gonna hit that watch them freak out so there's your zombie spiders that's what they look like they are green and black See another one. Oi, oi. Okay, so while we're waiting for them to do whatever it is they are wanting to do, there's one. Over on the desk by the laptop is the last battery, and on the floor just below it is the uh, upgrade for yourself. And that spider's stuck, so I'm actually just gonna put him out of his misery. And because that was the last spider type that we needed to kill, that does unlock the tiny game hunter trophy, which of course is great. And then over on the left-hand side of the room, there is this orange crate that required four objectives to complete before we can open it and as you can see we have four done and inside is going to be the rpg which we're going to go shoot at the printer really quick go ahead and grab those and then just head through this door here and then we're just going to go right over to the printer fire a rocket and then get that trophy. So jam this should unlock once you completely destroy it. And now we can get back to work on these spiders. So we have a whole bunch just waiting over here. Kill that guy. That guy. I need two more. All right, and then one more. There we go. All right, and that's number ten. So that's perfect. And now we need to go find our radioactive spiders, which shouldn't be too difficult to find. I feel like they're all gonna be pretty close by. And they may have run out of the room and again, that's perfectly fine. They're just hiding. All right. <laughs> So I got that one. Let's go in here. Oi. All right, so that'll finish up all of the objectives for this level and we have all of the weapons and the upgrades. But again, we are not gonna do the Arachno Gauntlet for this one just yet because we can use that unlimited ammo to our advantage once we pick it up in the last level. Um, without it, it's just kind of a pain in the butt to try to do and it's just not really recommended that you even try for it. So go ahead and ignore the gauntlet for now and we're gonna head over to the exit which requires 30 kills to unlock. We're sitting at a pretty 41 so that'll do more than enough 
and yeah, just interact with the door when you're ready and we'll head outside and then move on to level eight, which is Contingency Omega. Okay, and you can go ahead and look at the upgrades if you want. Um, there's not really a whole lot here for us. I am gonna turn on the reflex site. I'm still not really sure what exactly it does, but it, it sounds fun. So we're gonna use that. And then the tracker upgrades, we have the laser and the holster, both of which you should be able to afford if you want them. If not, it's perfectly fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and install them. And then when you're ready, go ahead and hit play and we'll get level eight done. And it just as a little FYI for this level, um, there are batteries and there are weapons that we need to pick up, but there are no upgrades. So no tracker upgrades, no personal upgrades, none of that stuff. So we can go ahead and skip over that sort of objective for this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is pick up a battery as well as the flare gun, which is going to be the first piece of equipment that we need for this level. Um, just as a heads up with these objective papers, they don't exactly pick up. Um, it's a little bit of a bug on the console version of the game. Steam is fine, um, just this one is a little on the finicky side. So before you destroy anything, make a note of these numbers that are playing on a laptop screen and the colors corresponding with them. Um, I'll read them off once we need them, but just as a reference right now, it's red six, green one, blue seven, yellow four. So it's gonna be the same for everybody, nothing too different. And then, uh, um, yeah, so the battery is gonna be in the top left drawer here. So go ahead and pick that up. And the flare gun is gonna be in the bottom left drawer. So go ahead and pick that one up. And before we move forward, we are going to get a miscellaneous little trophy out of the way here. So this is to get the ball into the hole on the green here. And you don't actually have to hit it. You can just walk it right over. <laughs> super, super OP, super hacky, but it works. And then just drop it in. It might take a few seconds for it to register, but once it does, your trophy will unlock. And then for this door, we need one spider kill. And in here are invisible spiders. So this is gonna be a fun one for you. So there's one. All right. I believe there's one under the desk as well. Okay, and remember where this key is because we are gonna need it here in a second. I really wanna get this last spider. All right, and so in the trash can. So that'll be the three unseen, or sorry, unseen, invisible spiders that we need for that objective. So go ahead and open up the door that only required one spider kill. And we're gonna go into a bathroom here so head on inside and in the trash bin is going to be another battery so go ahead and pick that up and then interact let me just make sure <laughs> interact with these buttons just beyond the toilet here and a little wall will drop down and as you can see the door in front of us has a golden lock on it so we need this golden key to open it up so go ahead and do so and then open up the door and again, you can pick up this piece of paper if you can. Um, this one, I haven't been able to get it to work on console. As you can see, I'm trying my hardest to pick it up. It's just not really happening, um, but that's okay. That objective is to open up this door, which you need these numbers and buttons for. And if you remember, the laptop screen was playing a sequence of numbers and colors. So that's what we're gonna use this for. Something just fall. <laughs> Okay, so again, it was red six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, green one, blue seven, and then yellow four. We 
No. Okay. <laughs> and then hit the button once you're done. And as you can see, the objective completed itself, even though we never picked it up. But go ahead and head inside this little corridor here and then pick up the Molotovs if you want them. But just beyond this little mini fridge with the energy drinks inside of it is another battery sitting on the ground. So go ahead and pick that up. And there's some bullets over here as well. All right, and then there's a door that requires five spider kills to open up, and we just got the five that we needed, but I'm just gonna kill one extra for good luck. So go ahead and open up the door when you can. All right, and then in the middle of the room is this console here. I'm just gonna kill these spiders as I see them. And on the far side of the console is going to be another battery on the ground just by this large yellow wire right there. So for this one, we have three little keys that we need to place in these slots and then hit the button. And there's one key in each of these three rooms here and we need to kill spiders to open them. So the first one is going to be this number eight trophy, trophy, <laughs> uh, number eight room but we also need this crate to open up before we can get it. So we need to kill eight spiders total for this part. So we need four more little bastards. I believe there's some on the far side. Just one more. There we go. All right, so once you have 12, go ahead and open up the orange crate. And we're gonna open up this room as well, just to get them both going. And then inside the crate, we have a bunch of bullets. Go ahead and pick them up if you need them, as well as a silver key. Leave that there for now and head into the room that just opened. And if you can, pick up the objective to give it to us, yeah. So this is just to get the flamethrower, which is inside this armory cage here, which is locked by this little jail lock thing. So that's where the silver key is going to go. So go and pick that up and then interact with the door. And of course you can pick up the flamethrower and that'll, um, sorry, complete that objective as well as give you that piece of equipment. But we also have three batteries on this corner table, some rockets, some molotovs, basically pick up anything that you can, anything that you need. All right, and this is what the key card looks like. So go ahead and pick that up and bring it back to the central console. I'm just gonna put that there because we are missing an objective. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so pick up the objective off of the whiteboard and then place the key in. So now we need the other two. So that room requires 15 and that one requires 10. So we're gonna go through the room that requires 10 first. And go ahead and head inside and then jump up and over this little vending machine here. And as you can see, the key card is on the table here, but there's also a battery just below the table. So pick that up. There's nothing in there. There's some bullets if you need it. Kill that spider and then pick up the key card and make your way back out to the center little console and place that in the slot. And now we just need to kill two more spiders to unlock that last one. There's one. Oh. And two. 
perfect. All right, so when you can, go ahead and interact with the door that required 15 kills. And we're gonna get the last and final key card. And when you finish this level, it's actually gonna start the gauntlet automatically. Um, whether or not you complete it, it matters for the end game, but for like a first time run, it, it's not like the most important thing, but you will get the end of the game um, cutscene and everything, whether you complete it or not. So, uh, sorry. <laughs> Once you're inside this room, uh, go over to the left, sorry, at the right immediately as you enter. And there's gonna be two monitors on this desk. Move the leftmost one and you'll find the last battery. And then go across the way and jump over these crates. And then go ahead and pick up the orange key card. And we're gonna bring it back to the central console. All right. So we've completed all the objectives, of course, and we need to hit the red button to continue forward with this. But before we do, I'm gonna go ahead and just rearrange my little arsenal down here really quick. Okay, so you got the assault rifle. Don't really need the bait. Um, it's not likely that you'll finish this on the first try, but I'm at least going to give it a well, <laughs> well put effort in doing so. Um, just basically anything that can kill spiders pretty easily is what we're looking for. So when you're ready, go ahead and hit the red button. And then you'll go through a little sequence of a bomb kind of being lowered into this little warehouse and then everything will go black and then the gauntlet will start immediately after. Okay, so now we are in the gauntlet where we just need to kill 30 spiders in any way, shape, or form. Wait for one to appear. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a sip. And if you don't beat this one, it's perfectly fine. Um, this one is a lot easier once we have the unlimited ammo upgrade um, for obvious reasons, because you can just shoot a bunch of rockets at it like I'm kind of doing right now. And we're just gonna keep firing everything at it. come close but I don't think I'm gonna get it hmm. that's fine I would be more surprised if I did <laughs> No, I missed it by four. Okay. Again, it's perfectly fine if you miss it, but now you're going to get the final cutscene of the game, and then it's going to lead into, uh, well, kind of the final cutscene, more of like the middle cutscene of sorts, 
And then it's gonna go into the final level, which is consequences. And that's where we're gonna pick up all the fancy schmancy, really fun upgrades that are gonna enable us to complete the gauntlets that we skipped or in that case did not finish. So I'm gonna actually skip this cutscene. We don't really need to see it too much. Okay, so now we are back in our little office of sorts here, and there's not really anything in the office for us, so we're just gonna go ahead and exit out, and then just go left, and then on the floor in this corner is gonna be a battery, and then if you can, just jump and remove all the crates, and then pick up the objective off the wall, and then go inside your old partner's office, which is this one right here. All right, and there's a whole lot of stuff in here for you. First is the upgrade on the desk, and then we have your tracker upgrade. And then go ahead and pick up the batteries as well. And then that's gonna finish up this little room here. So make your way back out. And then before you go down the stairs, open up the, I wanna say the bottom drawer, yeah, to pick up this, uh, sorry, another battery for this level. And then head downstairs and then exit through the door at the end of this little corridor here. And then you're gonna go immediately left and blocking this white door is a pallet. So just move that out of the way and then interact with the door to unlock it. All right, and then head inside and we have two more batteries on the shelf to the left, another tracker upgrade and another upgrade for yourself. And then on the other side of the room, we have this little chainsaw launcher of sorts. Um, but this is the last of the weapons that we need to pick up for the game. So you will get that ultimate exterminator trophy. And then exit this room and then go left. And there's gonna be a little grate on the ground here. And inside is gonna be another upgrade. So go ahead and pick that up. And that's gonna be your final personal upgrade. So you're gonna unlock Smarter Not Harder. And then head over to the other side of this little area here. And there's gonna be two batteries that are just kicking it on the ground. So pick those up. And then underneath the tire of this van here is another um, tracker upgrade. And that's gonna be the last one for the tracker. So that will unlock Knowledge's power. And then in the center by the boom box is gonna be the last battery. So go ahead and pick that up and you're gonna unlock the high voltage trophy and go ahead and pick up the objective as well, which is just the last dance. And that's basically the last gauntlet that you need to do, but we can't do it until we do the two that we missed and then this one will unlock. But before we go, go ahead and face the building that you initially came out of and at the top, you can see the Kill It With Fire Pest Control Inc. And you need to shoot down all of those letters. Let me see, do I have any missiles? I do. So go ahead and just like fire a missile or anything at them to knock them off the wall. There you go. And that'll unlock the out of business trophy. And so that's basically all that we can do right now. So we're gonna go back and complete those two gauntlets that we missed. So head back to the main menu. Um, just ignore this. You don't need to pay attention to it. All right, and then go to play. And again, the first one that we passed over was in Paper Trail. So go ahead and select that. And you don't have to replay the entire level. Um, you can just go straight to the gauntlet and then finish it and then exit out. So it's pretty convenient in that sense. So go to your upgrades and then go to page two and you want to install the cargo pants upgrade. And this gives you unlimited ammo for, as it says, most of your weapons, but it's basically going to be all of the ones that you could possibly need, but I'm one point short. So I'm just going to go ahead and refund all of those, install that one. All right, then get your cargo shorts, your sprints, and your reflex sight. All right, and then tracker upgrades, you don't really need uh, to worry about here. You can if you want, it's not really 
important. <laughs> But once you have at least the cargo pants and the cargo shorts installed on your personal upgrades, those are the main ones that you need for this. So once you're ready, go ahead and hit play. And again, we're just gonna go straight to the gauntlet. So go ahead and go through all these doors and the boom box is over by the coffee pot over here in the back of the room. Now for this one, we need to get 10 spider kills in 10 different ways. So basically 10 spider kills with 10 different weapons that aren't just shooting fire at it. So you can use the flame thrower, but you can't use that and the hairspray. Um, all the guns count as one the frying pan, trimmer, all that stuff. Like they all count as their own. It's just mainly the uh, fire extinguisher, the hairspray and the Molotovs that you can't really double up on. So uh, make sure you have your energy drink and equipped on one of the earlier ones. Let me see what guns I have. Assault rifle, RPG. Uh, we'll stick the frying pan on there and the trimmer. And so right now I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weapons installed, equipped, yeah. So as I use them, I'm gonna switch out three of them so that I can get the last that are needed for this little gauntlet. So when you're ready, go ahead and start it up. And I'm just gonna take an energy shot right away. All right, and that's one spider kill. Two spider kills. And you really just wanna stay on top of drinking your energy drinks because that's just gonna make this a whole lot easier. Three. Four, five, six, seven. All right, so now I need to switch these out. I'm gonna do the shrewkins, my chainsaw. And yeah, we can just blow them up. Why not? All right. Eight, nine, and 10. So here you go. That's that gauntlet complete. Uh, you don't have to finish the level or go through the exit or anything. I'm just going to wait for my energy drink to deplete. There we go. All right. And just go ahead and exit back to the main menu. It'll automatically save and consider it done and ready to go. And now we're going to replay uh, level eight and finish up that gauntlet. So contingency Omega. And it's going to be the same as before. I'm not going to switch out my upgrades because I already have everything I want in it. And when you're ready, just go ahead and hit play. And again, we're just going to skip all the way to the end. Um, you do have to complete the key card puzzle for this, I believe. I'm going to try it without it and see if it lets me. I don't think it will, though. And yeah, the golden key is in the bottom right drawer. So if you need it. And again, this puzzle was red six, green one, blue seven, and then yellow four, and then hit the button. And now we have the console. Okay, so for this one, I'm just going to install the RPG right next to my energy drink. That'll just make life so much easier. Yeah, okay. So you do need to complete all of them. So I'm just gonna fire a whole bunch of stuff. I 
Again, I'm looking for about eight spider kills right now. So let's go get our key cards. And then the orange, which again is just going to be up and over these crates here. Okay, and now we can go ahead and get this started. Got my energy drinks and got my RPG, so just got to wait for it to actually start. And again, I'm just going to fire RPGs anywhere and everywhere. Um, you are going to see my frame rate drop a lot during this because there's just a lot going on on my screen. Um, I'm kind of used to it with this game. Apologies if it's not the most favorable thing to be watching on a YouTube video. It's freezing up a little bit more than I would like, but it's comforting knowing that you're probably going through the same thing. So, <laughs> all right, we almost got it. Probably a few more rounds. Yeah, and not having to reload the RPG is incredibly helpful with this. Um, as you can see, I'm saving a whole lot of time with not having to do that.
Oh, one more. All right, barely got that. But yeah, so as long as you get 30, you will complete this one. And then the last Arachno Gauntlet will now unlock. Um, you do have to get kind of lucky with these. It kind of depends on spider spawn and just how often they actually appear. Um, if you want to use Molotovs instead of the RPG, you can and just set everything on fire. That works just as well. It's kind of up to you. I just, I really like when things explode. So yeah, I went with RPG. <laughs> so go ahead and skip the cutscene. That starts after that and it'll put us back in the final level, which again is consequences. And we're just gonna skip everything here and head down to the final gauntlet. So exit through the door and then head over to the boom box. All right, and for this one, I'm actually gonna use the flamethrower. It's a little bit easier to use. There we go, all right. And then once you're ready, hit the red button and go ahead and pop an energy drink and then just start setting everything on fire. And you wanna kill 40 roaches for this one. So we've moved on from spiders and have reached creepy crawly, why won't you die territory, but this one's pretty easy to complete. It shouldn't take too long. Let's see, let's get going. Flame. And again, because we have unlimited ammo, it's making it stupidly easy to just hold down that fire button and let it go. Pop an energy drink because we're getting a little close for comfort. All right, I'll just about finish it up, and you can kill any extra that you so wish. It's up to you. I'm just kind of waiting for my energy drink to wear off, and then just wait for the timer to hit zero and that'll finish that up. So once you complete the final Arachno Gauntlet, you will get the secret ending trophy. Um, and this is just basically the quote unquote real ending of the game. Um, and the last objective you are going to do is to walk into the light that appears in the middle here, and that will finish that up. But we still have two miscellaneous trophies that we need to get after this one, and then we will be done. So go ahead and wait for this to play out. And then once we're back at the main menu, we can go ahead and get those last two trophies out of the way. Okay, so in perfect V fashion, um, I said two miscellaneous trophies. There's actually three, but we'll get two at the same time. So I think that's why I was thinking that there were only two, but um, first we're gonna get the tiny mode uh, a trophy. Yeah, tiny mode trophy as well as the 360 no scope trophy. It's highly recommended you do these both at the same time because tiny mode puts you at eye level with the spiders and it just makes it a lot easier. But you don't have to go super fancy with a 360 no scope. You can literally just stand there and spin in a circle and not even like a good circle either, but I'll show you here in a second. So we're gonna do this on the first level. Um, that way it's super easy to actually finish and get that tiny mode trophy. So we're gonna go to upgrades and we're just gonna refund all of our points, which is perfectly fine. Um, turn on reflex sight and then go to page two and then turn on tiny mode. And of course we're gonna put in our cargo pants so that we have unlimited ammo and that's basically all that we need. We don't need the tracker, we don't need anything else. So we are good to go. So hit play once you're ready.
And again, now we are sitting at eye level with all of the spooters and everything. So let me just pop that one out, if he's even in there. All right, so we want to equip the uh, assault rifle as well as some baits. Where's the bait? There we go. And if you want to equip the energy drink, it can only aid you with this. So by all means, go ahead and do so. Um, but first things first, we need to find a creepy crawly. So I know there's a few over here. I'll just toss that. All right, so that's gonna be our first one. All right, so he's kind of hard to see. I'm actually gonna do this over in the light so that you guys can actually see this. All right, so pop your energy drink and then equip your assault rifle and you're gonna start a little to the right of the spider and then just make a full circle and then just dab over a little to the left. Again, it doesn't have to be a smooth circle. You can really just jank it like that. Just like, oh, I made it and then just dibble dabble the rest of the way. Um, you can even go back the other way a little bit. It's just as long as you make one full circle and then at some point in the near future, shoot them. So from here, we just need to kill 10 spiders to complete this level, which is gonna be super easy peasy. I'm just gonna install, install, equip our little rocket launcher. And then just go to town, killing them. Alright, so once you have your 10, go ahead and exit through the door. And because we are in tiny mode and we finished a level, we will also unlock that tiny mode trophy. Wait for it to load. There you go. I'm not even going to try pronouncing that. I'm just going to call it the tiny mode trophy. You can see it. You can try to pronounce it if you want. I'm not even going to try. So. <laughs> All right, so from here, now we just have to uh, turn a spiderling that spawned from a queen spider into a queen spider. So it might sound a little, a little rough, um, but it, it's really not that hard. So I'm gonna refund all my points so that I can take um, tiny mode off and I'm just gonna in install the cargo pants and not really anything else is needed. Um, yeah, that's fine. And then we're gonna go to Close Encounters, which is level two, and we're gonna go ahead and get this trophy done and out of the way. So hit play once you're ready. Oops, hit play once you're ready. <laughs> Okay, and what you want to have installed is the, oh my god, I keep saying installed, I'm so sorry. Equipped <laughs> is your bait, and then you also want like a shotgun or something, something that can easily kill the queen. So once you have those, switch over to your bait, and you want to have the royal, royal cheddar, royal bait, royal puffs, whatever they're called. But the bag looks like this. It's the blue with the white stripe and the little red box on it. And now we just need to go find a queen spider, which I believe they're usually over here. Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, here's one. Okay. So go ahead and kill the queen and then lay some bait down. And then one of the spiderlings will eat it and just wait for it to finish. And once it turns into a spider queen, your trophy will unlock. And that of course is gonna be the last one that you need. Super easy. That's probably one of the easier ones in the game to actually get. Um, but yeah, that, that'll finish it up. I hope you guys really enjoy your 21 bronze trophies. I do wish this game had a platinum. I'm kind of bummed it didn't, but it is what it is. Um, other than that, it's a pretty enjoyable game. So hopefully it was even just a smidgen of fun for you guys. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you guys on the next walkthrough video. See ya.